A useful template project to base any of your projects on is the first person template and I'm getting that from the blueprint tab of the new projects section of the Unreal project browser that shows up when you first launch the Unreal engine. So I've clicked on blueprint, first person, um, leaving it set on desktop console, maximum quality and I'm including starter content and I've just given it a name down here of first person example. If you've never opened this project before the first thing you're going to want to do is to press play and just have a play with it. But what happens if you want to create a project that doesn't involve shooting? How can you work with this template that gives you quite a nice character and all the scripting to move it around but get rid of that shooting? So that's what I'm about to show you now. The first thing you might want to do given that you're working, wanting to create a project out of this is to get rid of that basic template text there just by selecting it and hitting the delete key. The next thing you have to do is go into the blueprints folder in your contents browser. I'll just show the structure of this movie first though. So you can see that it comes in with two first person folders. There's also a folder called geometry that has a couple of things that are in here and your starter content appears down there. We want to be inside the first person blueprint folder which is the one that it defaults to and we then want to go inside the blueprints folder within that and we're going to make most of our changes in the first person character blueprint but we're also going to make a change within the first person heads up display. So we'll do the first person heads up display first and if we go double click to go into that blueprint and I'm just going to dock it up the top here so that we can see the whole thing and I'm using the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out and my right mouse mu button to just drag the window around. This heads up display blueprint what it does is displays that little red crosshair and obviously if you're going to take out the shooting you want to also get rid of that. So all we have to do within a blueprint these red events are the things that are powering all the things after it. So we just have to disconnect the power from these things and they will no longer produce their effect. So to do that we just want to click on the little white triangle here hold down and hold down the alt key and you'll see when you do that that you will lose that power connection and that will mean that the crosshair will no longer appear. Once you've done that you need to click on compile and then click on save and close that window. Now we're going to make our changes to the first person character. So we just double click on the first person character blueprint and again I'll just dock that so we've got more room on our screen. And this has got lots of different um, movement blueprints here for moving your character around. And the only one we really care about is this one that's called spawn projectile because as we want to get rid of the shooter we don't want any of our projectiles to shoot. So again I'm just using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and I'm using clicking on my right mouse button and dragging to move the window. There are only two events in the spawn projectile and we again similar to the HUD we just want to disconnect those two events. So I'm holding my mouse over the white rectangle next to where it says pressed on this one and I'm pressing down the alt key and clicking to get rid of that connector and I'm doing the same up here to where it says input action fire. Again you have to compile and save. One last thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the visibility of the gun and the little hands that are holding the gun and there over here in the components section you can see the one called FP gun and the one called mesh 2P. So I'm going to click on FP gun and I'm going to scroll down my details panel till I see the bit that says rendering. Under rendering where it says visible you want to uncheck that box and I'm going to do the same where it says mesh 2P under rendering where it says visible I'm going to uncheck that box and again I'm going to compile and save. And now if I save all and press play you'll see we can now walk around and look around 
and not shoot anything.